Hello, it's uh, now Monday the 29th of July and it's 20 past 10 in the evening and we're currently just sitting waiting to go through Ramsey Sound. Um, we've tried a couple of times but it's the tide's just too strong at the moment so we're, we're just, just a wee bit on the early side so we're another 20 minutes or so and we'll be right for getting through. Hopefully. And if um, not we'll just go and anchor. Yeah, um, and go up first light in the morning with the, the next tide. So we last spoke to you when we were in UK and we left UK a couple of days ago now and made a beeline straight for Wales and we made it 75 miles and I think it was something like 46 hours that we did it in. Cause was it as long as that? Yeah. We left at 7 o'clock in the morning from UK and we Dropped anchor in Wales at five o'clock. Oh yeah, so we did five in the morning. Two days later. Yeah. Um, so the journey over. It was pretty uneventful, really. It was big, big swell to start with, um, but we were making good progress. Then we slowed right down. Um, there was a little tickle of a headwind, so we, we averaged about one point five knots, which is yeah, it's not bad. Um, we were pretty tired by the time we got to Wales because we were rowing two hours on, two hours off each. We um, had a visitor on, on route though. Yeah. The yacht came over, um, Barbadee. Barbadee, yeah. Uh, Andy and Kim, so it was really nice to see them. That was amazing, middle of nowhere. Yep. And with them they brought some good weather, so not long after they left, well a few hours after they parted company with us, um, the sea state did start to to calm down, and with it, it brought some toasty hot temperatures, which was a bit of a killer. So, but we're not going to complain. <laughs> we will take sunshine and heat over the rain any day of the week. Thank you. Um, we had a few amazing dolphin encounters on the way across, including a sunset sunset one. Um, dolphins right in at the boat, but we've actually noticed them because. There was gannets diving, so they were um, in the distance, and then Alan noticed a fin in amongst them. But the gannets are spectacular when they dive. I know. Like they're folding themselves into that really streamlined Because they're quite arrow. a big gangly bird. They've got massive big long wings when you watch them flying, and you think, how can something so um, long and gangly go into such a spear-like shape? And the, it's the the force to hit the water. You hear you hear the sound. It's just yeah, the noise and the splash that comes up with it is pretty spectacular. So yeah, we made it to Wales, and then we I, had I, I had a dolphin encounter. I was rowing before yeah. you came back out on the oars with me to do the last bit into uh, into Wales, and there was a dolphin. I was actually listening to a pod, podcast on on my headphones. And I heard a noise, and there was a dolphin, just a solitary dolphin swimming around the boat. And it must have been 20 minutes to half an hour. This dolphin just circled. I stopped rowing for a wee while. Had oh, you did, did you? One way conversation with the dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> and then just carried on rowing again. And um, it stayed with me while I was rowing as well. Yeah, they're quite inquisitive. So. What was going to say? Yeah, they're quite sneaky on you at night, the dolphins. They just sneak up and you hear this Aye. wee splash and poof. That one didn't give me a fright, but the, the night before I did get a fright. There was something, I don't know, I'm assuming it was a dolphin right next to the boat. Yeah. So anyway, we had a, a power nap when we got to Wales because we needed the tide to get round the next headland. Um, and what was meant to be a nice wee 10 mile jaunt to drop anchor and wait yeah. to go across the Irish Sea today became a bit of a nightmare day. We we have no idea what was going on with the tides. So the tide should have been really pushing us and helping us on. But we came round the headland and we just hit stop on the treadmill and yeah. it started pushing so us out in the wrong way. Jack sound that we came through this morning and the tide was with us, just the start of the the north going tide. And it, it pumped us through and it was quite you know, it was quite smooth, there wasn't any overfalls, there was a little bit of a uh, sort of spiky wave pattern, but it wasn't really overfalls. 
and so we went romping through the air over three knots. I was steering, Mary was rowing, and then just the speed dropped really quickly. And it was, it was I think there's a back eddy in the bay. It's the only thing we can think of. So we tried actually going uh, due west out of the bay, and because the heading was right, we were more or less pointing for Ireland. So we'd look at the forecast and hummed and hawed and initially thought, let's do it, double check the forecast, message Charlie and the consensus was, nah, it's not right. And uh, it was a bit of a hasty decision, to be fair. Yeah. So we've, we've, we've battled through the bay, the whole day has been spent battling through the bay and we've made it to the entrance to Ramsey Sound and as Mary said, we're just waiting for tide to get through here, but we've Moved. just had the most amazing encounter. I thought uh, the dolphins. I think it's my favourite one yet. Ah, uh, it's just it's something else. After such a just a slog of a day, and they're literally just around in the background. You can hear a little puff every so often as they come up, and um, they, they've just been feeding. Well, we think they've been feeding the tail end of the tide and there's little whirlpools and all sorts so they've just been there's another one nearby there just now so what happens here is when you've got a channel and the tide's coming through it comes rushing through um, so it flushes the fish through and the dolphins love it and it's quite amazing watching them hunt because they, they go round in circles um, but these ones were really really inquisitive of us tonight as well they were um, right in close to the boat I love them but I get a wee bit unsettled when they're so close to the boat I'm just a wee bit wary of them um, but I'm quite sure they wouldn't do us any harm um, but they come to us it's not like we're chasing them they're they're coming to see us it's yeah um, they're they're coming along the side of the boat and they they tilt onto their side and they're eyeballing you and they were super inquisitive tonight because there was there was one in particular that was just milling around and you could see, that, you know, there was no speed in it. It was really slowly coming behind the boat, alongside the boat, eyeballing us, and away it went again. And there was a little baby one as well. Amazing. And the backdrop to this was the most spectacular sunset I think we've seen on this trip. Yeah. With hues of purples and pinks and it was just stunning. Um, but we're back in the west, aren't we? So, good, good sun, good sets. So the plan now is we'll hopefully get through Ramsey Sound and we are losing the light. Losing um, it, we've lost it. Well, there's there's still a glow in the sky, so you can see the, the land and everything and don't really want to tackle the sound in the pitch dark, so if it becomes too dark before the tide turns, we probably will go and anchor and just tackle the sound in the morning. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So yeah, we we don't really know when we're going to try for the Irish Sea. There is a little bit of weather coming in tomorrow. Um, so we'll kind of be keeping a really close eye on it and we need to make a decision. Are we, are we crossing to Ireland or are we going to stay and creep up the the coast on the west of Wales and Scotland. But the downside of that is it adds a huge amount of mileage onto the, the journey for us so we really want to avoid that if we can but obviously if it's not safe to go across the Irish Sea we, we won't be going. Um, so we just have to hope that there's a wee bit period of settled weather but there is some really high winds coming in at the end of next week as well so we just need to make sure that we're safely tucked up for that um, so tomorrow will be a day of planning and decision making hopefully um, but I think we'll go and try and get in through this sound again yeah and I think we should go for it hopefully next time we speak to you we will have made some more progress so we wish you good night and we'll speak to you soon Bye for now.